Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Cold War Iron Curtain mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. America Lover. But right now, we're just currently doing Strategic Bomber Command and Restructure. Of course, new bomber designs and roles are being up produced every day, but we need to update our command structure to reflect that. Now, it's October 31st, almost uh, November 1st. Now it's November 1st, and uh, hopefully, we'll see what happens, because someone did ask, uh, is there a chance to survive the assassination attempt on JFK's life? Uh, I don't know, man. I really don't know. So we'll see. I thought it happened in November sometime, so we'll see what happens. Uh, increase funding for Laos. Now nah, we don't need to worry about Laotians. Fails, fail, 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 fail. Close it out. Cool. Natural sovereignty. And up next, next focus we're going to do is probably what? Let's do the uh, main battle tank 70. The Main Battle Tank 70 program will be a joint U.S.-West German R&D project aimed at producing a main battle tank capable of countering the Soviet Armored Corps. This will be a difficult but rewarding task. Well, let's hope it is rewarding. Uh, anything else here? We can pay off. We, can do, oh, we have no debt. We pretty much all already did as much modernization as possible. Iraq leaves Cento. Well, if you want to read Cento, I guess. Please go ahead and blow to Britain. Well, that kind of sucks. Time will tell. This action marks the beginning of the end for Cento. Well, that sucks, guys. Quality, we could buy equipment. Not really interested. F in LA. Eretrian Front. Stuff happens. You know, stuff happens. But, I think I read this one last time. I can't be, I'm probably wrong. I think I read this one, but. The M113 Armored Cavalry Conversion. The M113 will also be going to some of our armored cavalry units to replace their aging APCs. It also makes our mechanized core stronger, or make our mechanized core stronger, and a force to be reckoned with. Well, I guess we got our answer. LBJ takes the oath of office. Uh, all right. Now let's see. Kennedy's death marked the fourth, following those of Lincoln, Garfield, and McKinley. The most recent assassination of American president. Vice President LBJ automatically became president upon Kennedy's death. Well, I guess we're going with Jumbo now. I'm sorry, JFK, and I'm sorry to everyone. I, I, I don't know. I just I don't want him to die. I wish there was a way we could save him, but. I guess not right now. Tax break proposals are gone for now. Well, that's not great. Operation Phoenix. Well, we will go to war with those guys later on. We'll really want to wrap up uh, Vietnam. Ooh, tax breaks. Yes, that's up too. Um, not really going to happen. I guess we have to wait till the next year for the next uh, thing to happen. So, yeah. I mean, bad things. 1960s was a wild time for everybody. Launch an Indonesian coup? Screw it. Let's do it. Unfortunately, a few years ago, the Dutch East Indies fell to Sakar known as a common supporters. We have had a bad time, but our operatives are tell telling us now that time is to strike and bring down the regime. Might as well at this point, right? Might as well. Only get 1.73 political power, so pushing for renewables as hard as possible, and we're running out of space to build, including in Mexico. Holy crap, too. Wowzers. Wowzers, and some might say Bowsers. But that's all right with us. New Jersey could use some more renewable energy. Let's be realistic here. New Jersey. Never been in New Jersey, and honestly, from what I hear, I hear people don't really like it that much. So it is what it is. So it's almost 64. Yeah, that'll be great. But I like my Indonesian coups. LBJ, Jumbo, he likes to go big or go home. And provide hit something? Hit oh, provide a hit list in Indonesia. Well, go figure. Well, the country is no longer communist by name. There are still many supporters of the old government in Indonesia. Or providing the military with a hit list, we can change it quickly. Ah, nothing like a good old hit list, right? Wow, weekly stability goes really down. Oh, and that's technology, which is fine. Uh, a slight Indonesian coup. Alright, just a slight coup. Just, uh, just your friendly American coup. The Honest Johnson, or Honest John. Cool. Where is this? Nice. Well, Republic of Indonesia. To Harto Wilhelm Dries, and you, state of Indonesia. So, we'll see what happens. Maybe that was wrong to do, but support Lon Nol. Lon Nol, the more right leaning Cambodian general, struggling to hold Khmer Rouge at bay and needs our assistance immediately. We need to act fast before it's overwhelmed. Sure, Kingdom of Cambodia gets some help. It's fine with us. Arm the Republic of Cambodia. Now that we've stemmed the bleeding in Cambodia, general rearmament of the force necessary. Now, I'm not sure we're supposed to do this now. We're just going to do it anyways because we can. Happy 64, everybody. The 9th Olympic Winter Games. 
that the Nats win an Olympic Games were a success. Nice. But self propelled howitzers? Let's grab some of this stuff too. Nice. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Cobra native Tyler. Tyler needs their support to prop up its economy and military, and while we can't be, see, be seen aiding them, we'll provide a secret arms and funds, because we can, and continue funding the LDP. The LDP is one of the only non communists or non involved in some sort of conflict regime in Southeast Asia, and deserves our continued support despite some previous undemocratic policies. It's all good. It's all for a good old cause. Now we get a lot more, but we're going to keep going with this stuff for now. That'll be fine, 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 and then. Um, I'm going to wait for this stuff, too. Keep it louse. So that's what I want to wait for. So, let's grab you. The M113 will be going to some of our armored core units to replace their aging APCs, of course. Make her mechanized stronger. Make her grow stronger and be forced to reckon with. I know I read that one. I forgot about that already. Not bad. But GDP is doing okay. 1.71 billion. Or trillion, not billion. Oh boy. We're we talking about trillions here, son. Advanced decision timeouts. Uh, nothing there yet. Foreign influence now. Um, there's a couple comments as well. So, apparently there's no chance to survive the assassination attempt, which sucks. Actually, 4% is not good enough. 28%? Uh, we might want Pakistan with us as well. We are getting their independence, so... Ethiopian Empire would not be bad. 36% is pretty good. Retreat and Liberation Front. You guys are already at 83%, which is pretty darn nice. So, uh, we'll see what happens. But, someone says, I should not puppet too many people, because that's a little gamey. Maybe a little ahistorical. But quite gamey, so someone doesn't want me to do that. We'll see what happens. I don't know. We'll see how far this campaign lasts. And then someone says, uh, it was historical to kill DM. So, yesterday we could have chosen the option, kill him or not, and I guess, well, we no longer have that option, but yeah, it is what it is. My bad. Cool. And we're going to go, uh, not that one, this one too. Why not? More entrenchments are always welcome here. And we're going to start building up a lot more water infrastructure so we get more infrastructure but we get more municipal infrastructure and then we get some more state infrastructure as well as time goes on which will be a very 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 good thing and we're having orbital rendezvous so far which is very nice and this looks so weird just so odd um kuwait's down there uh, of course jerusalem is our puppet already which is awesome led by golden mayor which does well some said broke their focus tree but whatever it happens you know it happens i love a bigger israel even though israel doesn't own Kal Palestine, however you pronounce that, but whatever. Um, yeah, I wish we had more stuff to do here right now, though. Nothing for foreign policy, which kind of sucks. Oh, look at this. They're focused on Cyprus, and the UK still owns part of it, huh? Alright, interesting. Of course, China's doing Chinese things. We're still helping these guys out in their wars, which is kind of weird. I don't mind taking a North Vietnam, so how do I get involved more? Because, yeah, I'd like to go to war with them. Nice. Cavalry conversion. The United States Navy. Our Navy is how we protect our power across seas, away from home, and into places like the Middle East and Southeast Asia. We need to maintain this weapon if that is something we want to continue being able to do. Probably a good idea. But I also want to do Pro Project MK Search. Project MK Search is a brand of ultra focusing specifically on a truth serum. Unfortunately, well, not for us. It'll require expendable test subjects for experimentation. The things we do for freedom. Ah, freedom. Oh, look, Malaysia's over here. Nice hat, dude. Nice hat. North Yemen. Oh, another civil war. Oh, oh, can we send volunteers? I want to send volunteers. Let's get some blood spilled over here. Who likes us? No? No. Okay, ne okay neither of you like us. Yeah, Islam they're Islamists, and they're going to have gender and minority rights debates. Hmm. I'm going to assume they're going to go this way, probably. But you never know. Uh, you guys. I want to send volunteers. Oh, I can't send Oh, they have to be a sp oh, they're oh, they're not at war. Dang it! All right, whatever. I got excited for no reason. From the kingdom of Yemen here. Oh yeah, this is amazing. Now five out of five is pretty good. Uh, increase funding here. Have some more funding. Here. I don't know. Just have some more funding. We'll just throw money at you for no literally nothing else. Uh, nothing there yet. Economic decisions. I want to make America better, please. How can we invest more money into America? Nothing else here, really. Which does suck. About the after the American Navy. We definitely want to do that one. MK often. Oh, boy. Yeah, what do we do with our money now? We can blow it on this stuff, but... How do we get it down here? Oh, we still have a cooldown, right? Two years. Can't revert to lower levels. Uh, we need more political power, of course, to do all this stuff, but still. 
The next thing we we'll down in six days, defoliance for abilities and WMD attacks. Nice. Oh, it's over here. Look, what? I did I miss this last time? Bulgaria. Son, Bulgaria. Montenegrin, primary ethnicity, minority ethnicity is Albanian. What? That's a core state of Vol... Tito Grad is a core state of Vol... Okay, whatever, man. Whatever. 64? Uh, go to Fobs, yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess we can't go to Fobs. There you go, it's a little bit ahead of town, but that's alright with us. Uh, Project MK Often. MK Optin is yet another drug research project, this time aimed at examining the behavioral and toxicological effects of drugs on men and animals. In addition, spy master Dr. Sidney Gottlieb wants to use Optin as a cover to study dark magic and the occult. Scary and weird, but hey, if it beats the reds, who cares? Operation Search. Parent project to MK Optin, the CIA's MK Ultra project was renamed MK Search, indicating a refined search for a more perfect truth serum, based on some of the prior research of doctors involved in the OSS and later CIA, with study experiments of German psychiatrics. Or psychiatrists with concentration camp prisoners, the project requires more expendables or test subjects. MK search uh, tests would be carried out at CIA, uh, CIA safe houses in cities like Washington, New York, Chicago, and LA. The experiments would focus on the exploitation of human weaknesses and the destabilization of the human personality. In large cities, it was suggested finding expendables who would not be missed, which would be much easier than in smaller towns and rural areas. The subjects of the experiments would be exposed to tests designed to create disturbances of behavior, alterations of sex patterns and stimulations of aberrations, which could all be used in the process of interrogations and obtaining the information. This could be useful. Uh, we're going to do this more war, anti-war stuff later on, we're actually in Vietnam, but expand warhead production. Warheads are almost as important as the missiles that carry them and are vital to our interests. we got to step up their production. Project MK Often. It was a covert de department of defense program developed in conjunction with the CIA, a partner program to MK Search. Well, the goal of MK often was to test the behavioral and toxicological effects of certain drugs on animals and humans. CIA's Operation Often, a later program, was also initiated to explore the world of black magic and harness, of course, to their darkness and challenge the concept that the inner reaches of the mind are beyond reach. As part of the inner operation, CIA operatives or employees visited uh, and recruited fortune tellers, palm readers, clairvoyants, astrologers, mediums, psychics, and numerous other occult practitioners. MK often was involved in everything from seances and witchcraft to remote viewings and exotic drugs. What is this nonsense? Costing millions of dollars. A bunch of fun times for the people at top. Do we have anything else? Oh, yeah, it's at the bottom here. Self propelled. Also, I didn't realize, but we apparently made like 85 like more ships, so. Yeah, we got a lot of ships around here, so yeah. Cool. After expanding warhead production, Polaris SLBM deployment. The Polaris SLBM is their most successful design to date, and must be deployed to our submarine fleets ASAP. It'll get the Soviets another reason to think twice before starting their next war. Nice. Um, here. Here's my money. Well, it's June already, which is nice. Yeah, civil rights, we ain't doing that here. Um, yeah, just gonna hanging out. Uh, current debt? This is not too bad, really. We make a lot of money. Bloody Tuesday. Oh, boy. Barbaric. Yeah, the $134 billion office park income is really helping us out here. Most of the military... Oh! Oh, it's actually going to the Navy. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Barbaric. I don't really want to hurt the Navy too much, but... Huh. I wonder our money's not going up as much. Look at that. We're spending so much on the Navy. Then again, we're spending spending more on public stuff, anyways. Especially welfare expenditure. Holy crud! Um, we want some more office parks, if possible, please. We think that'd be quite beneficial to the uh, country. So, thank you. You know, instead of all these ships, just make some more convoys. Here, we got plenty of destroyers. So, take off a carrier hull. How many carrier hulls do we have? Here's much cheaper to make than destroy battleships and stuff, but. Battlecruiser? Get rid of that. Um. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it a little easier that way. Nice. Recon, there you go. Cool. All right, it's almost 65, and let's keep going on down. Where's more research speed? Oh, because better consumer goods, though. We'll do that one first. It's fine. Cool. <laughs> Nessosalo Silo Expansion. 
What good are missiles if you got no place to keep them? By expanding our cells, we can expand our missile force. Pretty much. Leave NATO. I'd love to leave NATO, man. I don't like having all these options open. Like, what else are we supposed to do with them? Alright, anything else? Just bombs are okay. Not great, but they do be okay. There's so many of these things. Holy crap, why is it still so bad? Get everyone else on one for now. We'll be fine with equipment. Um, even main battle tanks can be lowered by three because we just need so many of these things. Uh, Barry Goldwater, gold, and then LBJ, of course, and with these elections, hopefully we can shake up the whole congressional thing here. Got some Dixiecrats, some moderates, some libs. Actually, that's a lot closer than I thought it was. Up to fifty-seven now. So the Republicans hold the House, the Democrats hold the Senate. And the White House. Interesting. Tennessee's purple, huh? Uh, let's see. PVI. What is PVI? What is this? Hawaii even? Freedom Summer. Alright, what will come of this? Oh, now we can go for more, more welfare? Nice. The Gulf of Tonkin incident. Oh boy, let's talk about this. Well, on August 2nd, 1964, in the Gulf of Tonkin, the destroyer USS Maddox, while performing a signals intelligence patrol as part of Desto operations, was pursued by three North Vietnamese Navy torpedo boats of the 135th Torpedo Squadron. Maddox fired three warning shots in the North Vietnamese boats and attacked with torpedoes and a machine gun fire. Maddox expended over 283 inch and 5 inch shells in a sea battle. One U.S. aircraft was damaged, three North Vietnamese torpedo boats were damaged, and four North Vietnamese soldiers were killed, or sailors were killed, with six more wounded. There were no U.S. casualties on August 4th. Another death of patrol off the North Vietnamese coast was launched by Maddox and Turner Jolie in order to show the flag after the first incident. During an evening and early morning of rough weather and heavy seas, the destroyers received radar, sonar, and radio signals that they believed signaled another attack by the North Vietnamese Navy. Despite the Navy's claim that two attacking torpedo boats had been sunk, there was no wreckage, bodies of d dead North Vietnamese sailors, or physical evidence present at the scene of the alleged engagement. Hmm... Time for war. We must not rush into this. Seems like we should probably rush into this. I think the the I don't know. Like I'll be honest here, I really don't know what the circle one is. As as you all can tell, someone did say like I screwed up the. I pretty much screwed up everything trying to be historical here. So, uh, time for war. What do you mean initialize resistance activity? Gulf of Tonkin. Ah, the Gulf of Tonkin is over here. Restrict involvement. Or, begin the Vietnam War. Yeah. We're going in. If America's soil becomes totally poisoned, part of the t autopsy must read Vietnam. Can it never be safe so long as it destroys the hopes of men in the world over? Begin the Vietnam War. If you want to do that, please go ahead. The Gulf of Tonkin incident. Yay. Following the Gulf of Tonkin incident, Congress approved military action in Vietnam. Following the passage of the Joint Resolution, the President directed the military to deploy its air and naval power immediately. It also announced plans for American Marines to deploy to South Vietnam and aid the Saigon government. The United States has been deeply involved in the region previously, offering diplomatic support for South Vietnam. In addition, American military advisors are already on the ground, but this new deployment marks a major escalation. Previously, American forces were only allowed to train and advise the South Vietnamese. Now, the American military will actively support and aid the South Vietnamese against communist aggression. Many analysts believe that this new escalation will quickly turn the tide against the communists. Time for war? Well... I mean... Technically... They're not really at war. Um, National Liberation. What did the National Liberation Front sign? Um, revive the Rust Belt. Oh, look at this. Not enough map power. I want to make any more of these things, anyways. How is it going so low? Hmm. Seriously, I do not understand. Let's see. Like, we're ramping up production like crazy now. Why do these cost so much to make, man? I do not understand. Uh, so... Vietnam... Can't we help out? Launch a Phoenix program? Aim to destroy the Viet Cong and the sports of infiltration, counterterrorism, torture, and interrogation? It, it uh, involves specialized recon units who capture and suspect the Viet Cong and bring them back to the detention centers. Um, okay... Operation Shock? Uh, um, uh, 
Not really sure. I think this is all bugged up, man. Encourage the M113 exports. Exporting the M113 will not only benefit our government, it'll also strengthen the economy, export sales, as well as our allies when they implement it into service. Followed up with, yeah, Missile Silo expansion, which we'll read later on, too. But, which I actually already read, but whatever. You know what I mean. So, can you guys kill each other, please? The merchant's a full row. Oh, not at that. Ex interesting. The ethnic group that most comprised full row composed of 2.25 million people. Well, it doesn't travel in various languages spoken. Oh! Alright, so y'all killing each other now, huh? Current wars. Actually. Well, I kind of prefer you guys. So, we'll probably send you guys volunteers instead. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Well, who are you? Well then, you know, Portugal said no, and I just do my best to oblige everyone else. Okay, nothing here yet. Still got election year. Still an election year. Not too bad. Not too bad. Research should be done soon. How are we doing up here? I got plenty of political power too, so we probably want to really get Brazil. But we're gonna need political power anyways. Colony of Southern Rhodesia. Ooh, look at that. <sighs> Killing the Portuguese Republic. What's better than that? Having more GDP would be great. All right, Brazil. Let's get at least a 91% that will stop it. Oh, I thought this was 230. Yeah, I thought that was all we had, 230. So, well, actually, 2,800, which is nice. Mostly from GDP. Monthly gain is really good. The GDP, but factories. Oh, baby boy. That's very nice. Eisenhower's still leading. Man, you, you, you're busy, son, you son of a gun. Alright, not bad. Lead NATO. Well, hopefully we do okay. What type of templates are you guys using? They're all different templates. Ten combo with... Probably really bad. Yeah, sending you guys down here, but it's alright. Whatever. Keep moving on in. Y'all doing fine. Lorenko, huh? And current missile silo expansion. Yeah, maybe we won't have Vietnam more this time. Line, this is gonna be very weird for us. Very odd. It's all right though. It's almost 65, everybody. Almost. Keep moving around, guys. Keep... Yep. Did they win? Maybe. Unfortunately, as much as I want to do Barry Goldwater, I would love to do Barry Goldwater. We're probably going to do this one for now. Hello, Lyndon. Well, hello, Lyndon. It's just great to have you there where you belong. You're looking swell, Lyndon. We can tell. Hey, up to the chief. All right, we'll see what happens. Nice. So yeah, we're still in Angola here. Is this Angola? Oh, Mozambique. My bad. I don't know my African states as well as I probably should, but whatever. Okay, so we have civil rights. Do we fails to pass? Okay, everything still fails to pass. All right then. What happened to the? Do we just? Okay. Okay. So. Now we're 40, so we do we lose three Democrat seats, maybe? Oh, huh. Uh, now we're 57. Okay. It was weird to see this. Cool. 
All right, well, uh, well, they all failed to pass, though. So I ain't interested in doing that then. Um, well, it looks like you mostly won. I'll be honest. Yeah, you won. And there's nothing really, really to hear about the Great Society, which is unfortunate. I guess we'll do this Elementary and Secondary Education Act, because that was a real thing that we still use today. That we still base a lot of things off of, I guess. But like, all right, we'll do the best we can. G gu gun control, LBJ. Oh my goodness, LBJ, you are. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Oops, I'm sorry. I clicked on that way too fast. My bad. Holy crap, that was really fast. Um, I want to go to Vietnam. I want to blow people up, please. I want to blow them up. Reach out, reach to Beijing. Let's want to do this stuff against the PRC. Would be cool. We're gonna go outreach to Beijing. Reaching out of the PRC in the midst of the sign of Soviet split seems like a wise idea, as their bridges with the Soviets are already long since burned. What will come of this diplomatic effort? Hopefully, some good stuff, man. Hopefully, some good stuff. So got 12 days left, so. Wait, why is there resistance here? Why don't we have this cord? One of the following effects will apply when the resistance penetrates the garrisons. Anti- Oh my goodness. Wow. It looks very divided. A lot of Jews here, huh? Alright. And then we'll go back on this side and do uh, the Social Security Act 65. Uh, Social Security. Um. Why? Are we, what's the point of doing any of this stuff if it all just fails? I don't understand. This needs to be more things going on to get stuff passed. I have a 65 though, everybody. I have a 65. I guess we'll do public works and economic development and act next, maybe, I guess. I'm not sure there's anything else we could really do about that, so yeah. And I'll get one more renewable for now. The infrastructure ain't too bad, really. Look at that. A lot of the water infrastructure is really done already. Nice. Why are we building up so many forts? You know what? There's some things I don't want to question. So we'll build this up eventually. I'm not too worried about it. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Cold War, Iron Curtain, I, I, you guys, for some reason, like, you guys really like it. And don't get me wrong, I like this mod too, but, like, I, I wish there was a little more at the time it's recording. You know, I wish there was more we could do. It's definitely not complete yet, but then again, is any mod really complete? I guess a few are, but still. Alright, so anything else for 65 here? No. Social Security Act is good. Let's do that one. And then, uh, yeah, Public Works and Economic Development. Can we do this one, please? Maybe Social Security? Alright, it's always good to fail everything you do. Voting Rights Act? No description here. I'm wondering if LBJ. It's literally the last uh, person here for, that we, we have content for. Um, thing is, there's no Vietnam War, which kind of sucks. Uh, it's 240. I want to get more political power anyways. So, can we afford this? A massive jump? Assassination of Malcolm X. Concerning. That sucks, bro. Sorry you're dead, but oh well. This seems like a very LBJ thing to do. Just, just boost it up. There you go. Uh, oh my gosh, 40 more billion? Oh, 21 billion? Oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Alrighty. Uh, I'll get this, too. Cool. Uh, well, I guess we're just going to beeline through this on Voting Rights Act. And then we'll go and do the Housing, Devel Housing and Urban Development Act, I guess. Hmm... Yep, still can't pass anything there, which I just kind of disagree with, but whatever. 
military purchasing, uh, resource stuff, economic development. Uh, well, I guess my next goal is to get Brazil under us. That'd be kind of nice. Comet turn, or Warsaw back looking pretty good. Bloody Sunday, nice. Poll tax for voters. Well, make sure you get certain people voting, whether good or bad. Look at all the maps we could do, but we can't really. Heavy welfare spending, huh? How much PP we get? Eh, it's, it's a little better, not great, but not a little better. Um, keep building. We don't need way more office park income, man. Way, 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 way more. Boating Rights Act. Salmon and Montgomery marches. We march together. Catholic, Jews, Protestant, for dignity and brotherhood, and all men under God. Here. We'll try to get the Voting Rights Act passed. If we fail, oh well. We tried our best, you know. Eh, keep it on one. We're making enough anyways. So, are we, how much do we allow? How does this keep getting worse? Man, I don't understand. Operation Vantage. Well, if you're worried about that, please go right ahead. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, some of this just seems bugged. I'm just not complete yet. As much as I want to do well with this mod. Well, if it does not escalate a war, Chicago. As it because we've been doing MK Ultra stuff, I'm going to assume it's because we've been doing, uh, doing some MK Ultra stuff. Or just CIA operations in general. Um. Rocketry? Sure. Oh! Yay, war! Yay! Uh, 65. Long short income. I would prefer office park income, I'll be honest. Conversion bonus. I don't really use that, so. Hmm. Go for that one for now. And anything else here? Maybe Battle Tank 3s would be good. Um, Immigration Nationality Act 65, I guess. State of Kuwait is gone. Well, that was fast. Ooh. Voting Rights Act. We're still voting on that, which is fine. Can we help suppress the people anymore? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. No, okay there, okay. Um, It's dropping for now, but we'll see how, how long that goes on. You know, get do California twice. Yeah, it's probably good to do California twice. <coughs> I guess Higher Education Act? Might as well. Creation of the European Space Agency? They all have a direct support. Waste of time. New Dawn for Humanity. There you go. Well, let's see what happens after this one. After this one, we're probably going to do uh, National Historic Preservation Act. Yes. Why not? Um, Foreign Assistance Act. Well, do we not get any events saying we failed? Wait, Senate members supporting it, 72. 72 out of what, 98 or 100 is the majority? 239 out of 4 some hundred is the majority, right? Am I wrong? That's 435, yeah, 435. Current Senate support. Okay, how support? Wait, what does this mean? When it, it, do we just change the, the, the seats again? We have 51 Democrat seats and 49 Republicans. Uh. Okay. Guess after higher education, yeah. Cuban Adjustments. Freedom of Information Act. Well, we're doing the best we can here. Um. I should just, I should just blow it up Vietnam when I have the chance, man. Just blow it up. After that one, I guess we'll do Cuban adjustments. I guess we're adjusting Cubans here, I guess. Might as well, I suppose. Uh, how are we still building? Renewables. I think we got... Oh, no. We need more energy. Oh, boy. Oh, big boy. Big boys. How do we like them? We're like them big boys. It's highly dangerous. It's all right. We don't care if they're highly dangerous or not. Um, 12, 12. Yeah, get two of them going as well. Get more office parks, that'd be really good too. Missing some aluminum or nuclear material stuff, that's alright. 
Yeah, hmm. Portugal doesn't really seem interested in getting going back there. Um, United Front for the Liberation of Oppressed Races. Modern Hydrology. Coming soon, huh? Alright. Oh. It's that time. Cuban. It's just Cubans. But getting Brazil under our rule will be very good as well. Oh, and there goes Kubishek. Hey, how are you doing, Prudente Pinto? How are you doing? Totally didn't just basically coup you. Yay! Welcome to NATO, basically. Oh, legislation passed. We actually, I said it wouldn't. Huh? Screw it. We'll just try to pass everything. If it fails to pass, and so be it. Um, civil rights. Oh, it's gonna not pass. Uh, do we need both the House and the Senate for this? Because we have the Senate, but we don't have the House. We need 235, right, for the... Uh, for, it's 435, so the 218, I think? We need 218 to pass stuff? Yeah, we need 218, right? I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. Yeah. Oh! Oh, wait, you can lobby people? What?! Oh, you can actually spend political power. So you can actually lobby. Did people actually tell me that in the comments before? Uh, I apologize. I never knew you could do that. So can you actually pass all this stuff? So we need 218. Wow, that's really close. That's kind of extremely close. All right. Well, I guess I've learned something here today. Today as well. Um. Revise plans, man. Uh, side with the old guard. Why does we get to influence Chubby Mao Zedong? Um. Uh, I guess the yeah, sand molding, construction, repair, and such. Might as well. We're doing a little bit better here now, which is looking pretty good. Watts riot. I love the Watts riot. Unfortunate. Completion of Osborne Dam. Nice. I guess we're going to prosecute the clan, huh? Do we really want to do that? If we have to. Four days left. Um, that's so much money being spent on welfare. Holy crap. But it's not too bad. The Civil Rights Act. Oh, we actually passed it. Good job, LBJ. I guess you did what? ML MLK? No. What? Kennedy can do. Um... Passage resistant crops. Nice. Nice. I love chemical weapons. Stage 3 nuclear thermonuclear devices. There we go. Well, Social Security Act. So that should be good enough. That we should be able to pass that one now. Now I understand more. My goodness. I was being a dumb dumb. Such a dumb dumb, man. Such a dumb dumb. Prosecute the clan. The recent revival of the infamous KKK and instead of a high-profile incident of the violence against African Americans, Bush, President LBJ denounced an Attorney General was soon announced charged against Klan leaders involved in and <clears throat> uh, violence. The President said the Klan violence has no place in modern America. And declared the government will not stop prosecuting the group until it stops its violence against American citizens. Many minority communities across the country will welcome the news, although how the Klan will react is unknown, as it has a decentralized structure. Well, positive development. Yeah, I guess so. We ain't Klan. Wait, who's that? Clean it up. RCP USA. Maoism? What? Oh. LBJ. Look at what you did to the economy. Look at what you did. Oh, you just destroyed the GDP. Oh, the growth is going so down. Oh. LBJ, why? Why'd you hurt me like that, bro? Man. Except for this. 
I guess what we keep doing National Parks Foundation Acts. We we'll always try to beeline through all this stuff because I'm not sure there's another focus tree after this one, so we'll see. So I'll probably do National Park Foundation Act, Civil Rights Act of '68. We're not even close to that. National Endowment for the Arts and Humanities, huh? Yeah, let's go and get through National Park Foundations Act first, and then uh, kind of see what happens because we're gonna need a lot of PP for where we're headed. You know, lots and lots of PP. Alright everyone, so now it's February 4th, 1966, in which we're attempting to close the missile gap right now. Uh, despite our best efforts, the Soviets seem they're light years ahead in terms of missile R&D. That needs a change, however little, if we were to survive, of course, but ma ma mass adaptation of, or adoption of the M16. The M16 descended the AR-15, and developed in the Vietnam War, as one of the world's finest rifles ever made, and all of our ground-based forces should be using it. Ah, oh, they should be using it, no matter how many problems it may or may not have, so... I banned the, M, the main Battle Tank 70 system or program. It's already way over budget and outdated. It is unfortunately time for us to move on from this failed experiment or the XM803. The XM803 is an army project, supposedly an improved version of the failed M, main Battle Tank 70 with a much lower cost. Time will tell they arrive, but for now, then go ahead with experiments. Well, this one only gives us 50 army XP. We already have 600 some. Miles will get better main Battle Tank production costs. I mean, that only makes sense to me, right? Oh, we got a 6 research slot. Do we always have a six research slot? Kevlar would be kind of nice. Um, oh, oh, that'd be really good to do. Geothermal energy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that'd be pretty nice. Did we just get another one? For your transform technique. Cool. I do love that this mod does have a lot of technologies already done. It's kind of like a thousand week Reich or maybe even TNO. Like there's a lot of technologies in the mod that no one ever uses or touches because you don't get far enough. Also off screen, I got tired of not. not we, we were making like 0.8 billion, so I just deleted like an entire navy. Or entire fleet, so yeah. Um, the Navy takes the, the most of the money, but the Bonoro dispute, okay. But yeah, um, really not that bad. I just got rid of an entire fleet. Sorry, Nimitz, but whatever, it is what it is. Sacrifices were necessary, necessary for the welfare state, so. Um, National Historic Preservation Act, legislation fails to pass, even though we literally have every single senator voting for it. And we have more than enough, a little more than enough, for all the House to vote for it as well. So, so that's something I don't understand. So, but I'm really disappointed that, oh no, I want a Vietnam War to happen. I guess technically we can still make it happen. I could force them to kill each other off if you want me to do that, guys. If you think I should just force these guys to kill each other off, please let me know in the comments below. I don't mind um, forcing people to kill each other, because that's just hi human history. So, uh, yeah, I've been doing pretty darn well with that. Pro-Union. Uh, desert to construction speed, pro employer, you get more construction speed, but but labor neutral, you get more political power, and that's what we want right now. At least that's, that's what I want. Sex laws, fiscal overview, corruption is not bad, general financial information, monthly income breakdown, total. Oh, oh, we can get more high taxes. Oh. Less construction speed. Okay, adapt, adaptation or adoption. If there's anything I'm going to adopt, it's going to be a main battle tank. Uh, as well as M16, but so after this one, it is 66 um, core solid core rockets. Might as well feel really good about this one, right? 90, oh, 90 days, that's pretty good. And I can only get 1.84 because we're probably doing one of these. Yes, we are. Yeah. So who's next? I, I think I said so. Oh yeah, do we have volunteers here? No. The National Union for the Total Independence of, of Angola, Zambia. What? Oh yeah, we were here too. We were fighting these guys too. Um, what happened to Rhodesia? What happened to them? That's a nice flag, sort of ish. At least that's, that's, that's nice. It's because I like his hair. Kenneth Kaunda. I like his hair a lot, actually. Very nice. But after this one, I guess with we'll, uh, the Lima Tank plant expansion, let's go in and do the National Endowment for the Arts and Humanities and see what we can start cooking up here. So, uh, more renewables, please. Thank you. More renewables. Uh, build in Arkansas and build it in. Was it, is that Vermont? That is Vermont. I can't remember. I always screw up Vermont and New Hampshire. I always screw them up. I don't remember which one's which. Um, what tech do we need? Because I want to upgrade this. I want to upgrade this a lot. Actually, we're still making a lot. Of, yeah, we're making a lot of obstacles. We're still making a ton of forts. I don't know why we're making so many forts around here. Why are we making so many forts? Hey, legislation passed. Uh, after this legislation, Department of Transportation Act. We have literally every single senator voting for this as well. Why does it keep telling me that you're not going to get it done? But we are going to get it done. I don't understand. Me no understandy. Dead information. Default risk begins at $2.7 trillion. Austerity may occur at $900 billion. I mean, honestly, we're not... I try to 
make sure that we're okay. And it's honestly, you have to go out of your way to make sure you hit that high of a number. So, ah, uh, yes, yeah, Civilian Espionage Academy. Yes, yes, Espionage. We love it. Ah, uh, so nice. But it's only 66. We're still in the middle of the decade, which is kind of okay ish. I just watched one more conflict, man. I don't remember what else there is for in terms of conflict. Balochistan? Um. Austria, Trentino Alto Adige. Savoy. There we go. Nice. National Dawn for the Arts and Humanities. That'll be nice. Followed up with what? Civil Rights Act 68 and 66? I, I, I guess. Organized We still don't get rid of the organized crime problem. Do we still have segregation stuff? Oh, it actually got worse. Racism related issues. I thought it got better. Eh, whatever it is, what it is. Oh well. That's all I can say about it. Oh well. Hungary looks so sad. I wish it was bigger. But, you know, I guess it comes at the expense of other people. But which is okay sometimes. Sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. Um So we got Brazil. We got Israel. We've who else do we got? Korea. I think we're Austria influenced Japan. Just because they're not a puppet, so it doesn't make sense why they should be, but are there a bunch of reactionaries? Park Chung Hee. But now in Japan, the state of Japan, we have Kishi. We have a lot of social support, reactionaries, nationalists. We're sixty seven percent, which is not bad, but Oh, we're focusing on nationalism. Good luck with that, man. Legalization. That honestly seems is that maybe a little bit too ahead of time? I don't know. I can't tell you what what life was like back then, but or what they were even thinking. The Chicago Freedom Movement, huh? Uh, okay, cool. Interesting. What did he eat there, though? The, it large, marks the largest civil rights campaign in the North. Interesting. What well, is Chicago? Oh, legislation passed. Good job, guys. Revenue Act of 64. Um, probably education is probably what I want to do next. Public works and economic development might not be too bad. What if we did Revenue Act? We might get some more money, maybe. I kind of doubt it, but we might get a few more dollar dues if we do this one, so. And there we will go. Try that one. Barely have enough senators. Literally by one. Really one-ish, so. Eisenhower up to 68. We'll probably do Federal Transit Act. We like transportation, right? We, like, we love transportation. We love it. What do I do with my money? Three point seven trillion dollars. Like, do I just pay off other people's debts? What else do we do with this? I mean, we might literally just might as well just pay off other people's debts if we can. It costs. Us, can we? I wish we could trade like dollars for political power. That'd be kind of nice. Would make a lot of sense, but civil rights. Uh, we have to fight for them, I guess. Here. Um, I don't want to get copyright claims, so what is it playing? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I know this video has already gotten copyright claimed a few times already. So, and sometimes, not all the time, but some of the time, like, when you get copyright claimed, you literally can't show the video, so. It is what it is. Total debt. Does anyone have any debt? I don't mind paying off debt right now. I, I We literally have, like, plenty of money that, it's not like, you know, we can just reinvest into the economy. But, like... Money-wise, debt. USSR, you have no debt either. You are so negative in the debt that you're. Oh my goodness! Holy crap! You guys gotta have debt. No? Why does no one have debt? This does not feel very historical. Um. Why, do, why does no one have any sort of total debt? Start influencing nation. That'd be kind of a waste. Uh. T starts trade steering. Oh, that's kind of nice. Okay, gun. Oh, this is so un-American. Oh my gosh, gun control act. I'm sorry, man, but Fed boys ain't coming for my guns. No way, man. I don't own any guns. Yeah, that's that's what all I'm gonna say. Anyways, um, bucket wheel extractors. Uh, bucket wheels. Huh? It. I don't really care too much. We're not really gonna care about the conversion thing. So let's go produce the. Produce demand MRP. Why not? Why not? 
And at what point are we? How how influential are we? Oh, so probably one of the, the Republic of China here too with us. Seventy-seven percent is not too bad. <coughs> yeah, American intervention is good. Good. Yeah, we got some good. So we have proposed talks with Kashmir. Will they manage to end this conflict? Probably not. Keep working on it, guys. Keep working on it. Civil Rights Act of '68, uh, Federal Transit Act. We'll do that one. All the senators love it. House members supporting the current legislation. Not bad. And we just hit two trillion in GDP as our growth rate just does not look good, man. It does not look good. Half of our money comes in from the services sector, which is awesome. Gun control act. I swear to God, Johnson. Public broadcasting act, though. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Yemen. So, uh, Yemen. You know, they say there's a civil war. I don't see any bloodshed. I don't see people, bodies buried in the sand or on top of sand dunes dying, so... Don't tell me there's a civil war if there's no civil war. Happy Mustafa Barzani, though. He's a happy guy. Very divided Kurds, though. Holy crap. Very, very divided. Oh, we do have special projects to go on to. How is electricity? Eh, it's still getting slightly worse. Slightly, slightly, slightly worse. Chugga, 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 chugga. How is... Uh, descent. That's actually not bad. Compliance is 57%. That's not bad. Michigan is 57. Oh, I just want to do that, man. Uh, how, much, how much are we out now? 66. Oh, that's a lot better. That needs to be minus 66. 6,600. 6,600. Yeah, I, I, get, I can speak words. Oh, that would be good. Yes, yes. Use way less energy. Please. Foreign policy. I wish we could do stuff there. Economic decisions, we can take out loans, but there's literally no point to do that. Mm, resource stuff. Oh, look at this. Battle of Mango Hill. Cool. Public Broadcasting Act, followed up with the Crime Control and Safe Streets Act, okay? But uh, revive Texan iron mines. After World War II, many Texan and iron mines faced silent but deadly managerial, managerial or management problems and depletion problems, however. These issues were quickly resolved with the advent of the Texan survey. The iron mining companies of Texas were able to move on to fresh, newly found deposits. Nice. We get some new stuff there. Don't need it at all, but we'll take it. Alright, anything else around here? No, nope. Pretty much that side's done. Computers? The computers are done as well. Rocketry? AIM 70s? Might as well, right? Why not? Yes, sir. The Black Panther Party. I don't know much about the Black Panther Party. I should look up and uh, look look up more about it, but interesting. Black nationalism it refuses to compromise or vote or the rights to protection from outside violence. Cool legislation passed. Look at that. Oh, gun can. Oh no, no, no. Manpower development training. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. Could be better. Could be worse. But it could be a lot better. But it could be a lot worse. Revenue and Expenditure Control Act. What, the government having control over expenditures? <laughs> Son, this is this is insane to think about. Look at this. What can we do over here? Informants. Ooh. Local police. Reorganize the workforce. Not bad. So after this one, we'll probably go ahead and do this is something interesting. Uh, resistance. I won't do that one now. Uh, Operation Momentum. A Loatian guerrilla training program, Momentum, will operate in the northeast of the country and carried out by the Thai Police Air Reinforcement Unit. The American side of the planning will be carried out by James William Lair, an operative already deep into Loatian territory. Not a bad idea, son. Mm. For we love the Asian desk. Yeah, Military Espionage Academy really hurts us. McCarthyism still exists, even though he's dead, but okay. But okay, then. And you're almost done. Push on to 67 soon, hopefully. You got about a week left. That sucks, man. Operation Momentum. Oh, fractal orbital bombardment system sounds amazing. Macau? Well, Macau ain't having a good time, now, are they? No, Siri, no, they aim. Momentum. Followed up with Operation Pincushion. Oper pin Operation Pincushion is a covert effort to recruit Loatian Hill tribes and form them into regular fighting forces capable of defending themselves against a communist threat on the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Might as well arm the Royalists. Might as well try to get some of this stuff done, I suppose. Uh, Operation Shock? In oh, that's in response to the Tet Offensive. Uh, um, I guess we'll do this one. 
The Lima, Ohio tank plant has been in operation since 41 is one of our nation's best. To increase the tank production capabilities, expanding the facility is the way to go. Might as well. And we've got about a week left for that, which ain't too shabby. And what else? Construction. Keep keep making more of these things. Then we going to need a lot more electricity. Nice. And of course, office parks. And we're getting actually a lot of these forts done really quickly. Oh, we're already getting them so done. We got a lot of them done. We're actually making roads. Oh, thank God. Military espionage. Never enough money. Legislation passed. Good job, guys. Good job. Uh, immigration nationality. You're not going to control revenue. Oh, look at this. Regroup of population factor goes up by 2%. We lose consumer goods. We get more construction speed for about a year. Oh, that's not bad. Let's try that. Almost everyone loves revenue and expenditure control. Huh. Go figure. Go flipping figure. Tax breaks. Uh, give him some more tax breaks. Uh, yeah, yeah, give him some of that stuff, too. That's very nice. Japan! Yeah. We lose so much PP all the time, but that's all right. So after this one, we're probably going to end up doing the Chrysler XM1. The XM1 will finally be the answer we're looking for to replace the obsolete M60 patent tank. It is new, durable, and packs a heavy, heavy punch. It's just what we needed and wanted for our armored core. Oh, absolutely. We're like a big and heavy. Mmm. And we can keep making more office parks, too. So, Soviet, uh, their GDP is bigger than ours. Interesting. Military expenditures, mm, not bad either. Is anyone going to come close to either us? Either one of us? Here, you want to grab that one? There you go. You can have that one. I don't really care. Oh. Nice. Uh. Oh, it's three days left. Why did. Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. Alright, so we're done with this one. Weapons of mass destruction is where we're at next. Oh, we've got everything done for here, too. Assassination of MLK. A sniper assassination of MLK has sparked outrage in the black community, causing riots and protests in the South under the new African movement. Terrible. But anyways. Alright, it looks like we got pretty much everything else done here for 65, so we gotta wait for like 70. Uh, tactical integrity. Oh, we go offensive. It's, we're America here. We want to go offensive sometimes, right? Yeah. Native membership. Don't even, don't even bother me with that stuff, man. We're spending 102 billion, 103 billion every year on welfare. How much are we spending on the military? And that's just welfare, man. The military, it's 69 billion. Basically 70 billion versus... Well, that's a lot of billions, 1.3. But you know what? We could probably take another hit. Heavy welfare spending? We'll probably go there next. You can even more PP because we love PP here. PP makes us happy. Cool. Uh, yeah, might as well get it all done. I don't know. We, I just rushed with LBJ because I'm not sure what's going to happen. But happy next in 67, everybody. Hope you're having a great, great, grandiose year. Um, after this one, there's not really too much of an anti war movement. I guess we could try one Operation Merrimack. There have been numerous Washington based anti war groups propping up in the past few months. Merrimack will gather information on those deemed to pose a threat to domestic institutions and, of course, stability. How much longer do we have for this one? It won't tell us. Okay, that's great. That's just phenomenal. Thank you. Yeah, look at that. Oh, another fort. Civilian defense shelter, just in case. Minus 21. Legislation passed. Good news. Alright. Crime control. More monthly population instability. Your miles will get her done. 69. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, not bad. We still making more food, which is great. So how's this looking now? 45. That's a little better as well. Um, too heavy, heavy tank? Nah, we don't need that. Produce, produce to demand? Nice. 70s, 70s, all this stuff. Way too out of time for us. Um, 65, recoilless rifles? There's a lot of research. Doesn't mean we can use a lot of this stuff. I just wanted to get nukes and just blow the crap out of people, but, you know, maybe that's just me. In 65, we should have gotten the M16 already, but whatever. My bad. Caliber 556 MI6, M16? Nice. 2.6. Oh! 2.61. Now, where are you guys at? Soviets endorsed a two state solution. Alright, this will upset Israel. Well, excuse me, but Israel is our puppet, and you have 2.32 trillion in GDP. Ours is 2.61 right now, so you can suck a fat one. 0.31 trillion, point, not even a trillion, not even a trillion. Germany's not even a trillion, not even a trillion. PRC is not even barely half a trillion. Oh! Liu Xiaokui! Oh, so how's, how's, how's the AI supposed to be doing this? Importing wheat? Declare last single series. Oh, not please. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I was experimenting with the policy of liberalism, but why? Interesting. Strip Mao of administrative power. The Great Proletarian Cultural Revolution. Interesting. Well, which one did I say we're going to do after this one? Yeah, Merrimack. We're going to do Merrimack next, see what happens. That'll be good. Merry, Merry, Merry Mac. Alright. And it should be done soon. Oh, in like three days. My goodness, that takes so long. Okay, so with this, yeah, we, we gotta get a new policy change here because we have so much money. I don't know what to do with. It's not like we have debt, which sucks, but still. Uh, we're gonna do one of those and then advanced naval design studies. Uh, new advances in the field of naval technology are coming every day, and we need to harness them and put them to use in our great fleets. Might as well, right? Might as well. Because we're done with a lot of this stuff over here, too. So this might be the last focus tree we have. I'm not really sure. The devs might ha have more information. Maybe not. Maybe there's another decade. That'd be cool, but still. Operation Merrimack. It's a domestic espionage operation that began in 67. Coordinated the Office of Security of the CIA. It involved information gathering procedures via infiltration and surveillance of Washington-based anti-war groups that might pose potential threats to the CIA. However, the type of data gathered also included general information on the infrastructure of targeted communities. Project Merrimack and Swim Program. Project Resistance were both coordinated by the CIA Office of Security. In addition, the twin projects were branch operations that related civilian information to their parent programs, Operation Chaos. The public must not find out about this. And in nuclear carrier development. Nuclear powered aircraft carriers are the future. They can go further, farther, and stay out of sea longer and support operations over a wide area. We need to invest in these new designs right away, but hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow and see how far we can go in pushing to see what's next for the campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, tremendous, tasty, American-filled rest of your day.